Hey guys, what's up? It's Leila and welcome back to my vlog series. We have been blessed with yet another month of very good weather. So we went on quite a few adventures, which I will be sharing with you in a few clips. And also in this video, as always, I had a bit of Q&A in which I kind of focused on communication science. But I also talked about the application process and living and adapting in Amsterdam. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been getting a lot of messages um, asking me about my major in specific, which is communication science. So I'm going to be answering a few of those as well as other questions about general life in Amsterdam. I've had a few people ask me about the application process as well as uh, any prerequisites that we may need for the program and what we actually do in communication science. So first of all, for the application, it's very straightforward and everything is on the website you need to create a study link account and then you apply for enrollment and then with that they send start sending you emails with all the steps that you need to take what i had to do is i had to submit my grades and a motivation letter for why i wanted to join the program the university usually takes a maximum of six weeks to reply but when i applied for econ initially i got it within two to three weeks and when i applied for communication science it didn't take more than a week to arrive so it's very quick uh, responses and after that you have you generally have a matching exam that you need to do which is basically uh the university sends you a bunch of lectures and videos that you need to watch and readings in order to kind of have like an idea where you're going to be studying in the major i didn't have to do this for communication because i did it for econ and i didn't enjoy it very much but after a week you are required to take like a mini test and the university will assess your grades and give you advice about whether they think you should join the program or choose something else i didn't have to do the matching exam for communication science because i was exempted from it i assume because i did the econ one but we weren't really expected to know anything before joining the course some basic statistics would be helpful but we take everything from scratch anyway so you're not really required to study anything intensely before joining the program um what do we study right now in the first term the first two blocks we've had the same courses which are ics introduction to communication science and mcrs methods of communication research and statistics and ICS basically gives you just an or overview of the fundamentals of uh, communication science things that we're going to be taking in detail and in depth in um, specific courses next term and next year um, and MCRS is basically statistics and where they teach us how to use this program called SPSS and just a tip, if you want to be ahead in this class, maybe you can do some research about SPSS because it's the thing that I'm struggling with the most. Um, and they teach us how to conduct research in the methods of research section, communication research section, and basically just you know, teaching us what kind of experiments we should make and how we should conduct our research based on uh, in the hypothesis that we formulate she also asked me uh what you know job or career prospects we have after doing a master's or a bachelor in communication science the university also provides this kind of information on the website but basically an editor you can work as a publicist you can work in marketing and advertising you can be a spokesperson for a company it really depends on your personal interest because i think you can have a job in communication anywhere she also asked if teachers and people are nice the teachers are really really nice here we have several teachers because we have lecturers and then we have tutorial lecturers but we've only met the tutor tutorial lecturers in real life because uh, we don't go to live lectures yet 
but they're very very sweet and they're very helpful and they're very approachable and easy to talk to so it doesn't feel intimidating to ask a question and the people are very very welcoming as well all my friends are super sweet um you just need to know how to reach out to people because especially during corona there aren't many student associations that are running there aren't very many borals or meetups happening so you really need to take initiative to make an effort and go out and reach out to people i was asked how to adapt in amsterdam it's very easy to adapt because of how accessible everything is and how nice and open everyone is as well so it wasn't really an issue for me to uh, settle down here because everyone is so helpful and you can just get around really really easily and finally the last question is what's my favorite thing about amsterdam i can't really find one thing that i love the most about amsterdam just because i really did not expect myself to love this place as much as i do i had a solo adventure actually a few days ago and i realized that there's not much not to love about the city it's gorgeous uh thankfully this month we've had really really good weather so the sunsets here are amazing um the museums are really really nice so if you're an artistic person and you like walking around museums and stuff there is literally a park filled with museums um transportation is so good it was so easy for me to get used to the metro system um also, I've already said this, but having a bike is very useful. I just realized that I'm listing a bunch of things, but uh, because I actually can't really think of only one thing that I love about Amsterdam, but maybe if I had to choose, it's the sunsets. And that's it for the questions for this video. If you have any more, again, as always, do not hesitate to text me on either Uva bios or my personal account. So that's it for this month's vlog. I hope you guys liked it. As always, let me know if you guys have any questions. And I hope you have really good holiday season. See you guys in December. Bye!